had to edit my behavior. I had to change how I did things. Because if you do things the way you've always done them, you're always going to get the same result. That could be good if you're doing things right. All right, but if you're not getting the results you want, you probably need to edit your behavior and change. And then the last part of this is you've got to have the discipline to execute it every day. Lots of people know what they want to do. Lots of people even know what they have to do to do it. They don't have the discipline to execute it every day. And I'm sure coaches, all the coaches here have some sign up on the wall that says discipline is do what you're supposed to do, when you're supposed to do it, the way it's supposed to get done, do the right thing the right way, the right time, all the time. And those are great definitions of discipline. But I'm talking about self-discipline. Because every one of you guys make hundreds of decisions every day that come down to two questions. There's something I know I'm supposed to do that I really don't want to do. Can you make yourself do it? Over here, there's something you know you're damn well not supposed to do, and you want to do it. Can you keep yourself from it? If you can make those two choices and decisions the right way, you'll always be able to stay on the path to do the things you need to do to accomplish the goals that you have. Now, can you do what you feel like doing and do this? No. You can't go say, I don't feel like studying, I don't feel like practicing today, and then you tell me you want to go to college and get an education to play in the NFL someday. That behavior doesn't match up. You got to choose to do those things. And then the last thing I want to mention to you is pride in performance. You know, if you really want to be happy in this world, you got to get some kind of positive self gratification. You know the best way to do that is to be the best you can be. You know, because most people are sad and disappointed and depressed. They're, all those things happen because they know they're not doing the best that they can do to be the best that they can be. It's really frustrating. You know, I read, I don't read it, I paraphrase it. But Martin Luther King, like 60 years ago, had a sermon that he gave that is the best indication of what I'm talking about. He said, there's only one guy in the great stamp store in Montgomery, Alabama, I'd let you out my shoes. Because the pride that guy had in trying to shoes and he was going to do the best he could do every time he did it, and the smile that he got on his face when you told him what a great job he did. And he goes on to say, if you're going to be a street sweeper, be the best street sweeper there ever was. Sweep the streets like Michelangelo painted in the Sistine Chapel, like Shakespeare wrote literature. Let him put a sign up that says the best street sweeper in the world lives right here. And this is the part you got to get. And if you do that, you accomplish the best there is in life. You know, you did your best to be the best you could be at whatever you choose to do. You want to be happy? You want to be self-fulfilled? I don't care if it's in football. I don't care if you want to be a welder someday. I don't care what you want to be. Just be the best you can be. Be the best street sweeper. Be the best you can be. Be the best parent. And you will be happy because you know you did your best to be the best you can be no matter what you choose to do. So look guys, all you guys are here today to help your team. I wish you well. I wish your teams well. I wish everybody good luck today. I appreciate you all coming here. We'll be out there watching you. And I hope everybody has a tremendous amount of individual and team success today. So thank you very much and roll tide. Thanks, guys.